The Green Bay Gamblers and Dubuque Fighting Saints, one and one in the series right now. It's the Eastern Conference semifinals. The Green Bay Gamblers are heading out to Dubuque to take on the Fighting Saints this weekend. Now we're joined by the head coach and general manager of the Green Bay Gamblers, Pat Mickish. Let's talk about first Friday night. You guys pick up a victory three to two. From what I, I saw from actually both games is you guys went up 2 nothing on the Dubuque Fighting Saints, but they're an extremely tough team to close out. Yeah, I think everything in the regular season said this was going to be a great series, and uh, we don't uh, expect anything to come easy. I mean, we've had some good starts, and uh, they fought back, and, you know, two very uh, good games. I mean, us coming up with that win on Friday night with a key power play goal late, and them responding Saturday night and uh, getting that overtime win with a power play goal. Now you took a timeout on a power play on Friday night and Jeff Mitchell in our front office actually saw this, thought that was a really good idea. It's all about the small things in a series like this, correct? Because to take that timeout, you kept your first power play unit out on the ice. Well, and I thought that first power play unit was playing well that night and had a couple good looks and uh, just wanted to give them a little bit of rest so they could uh, play out the rest of that power play. And, and, you know, it worked to our advantage, but uh, credit to the guys. They moved the pucks very nicely. And, you know, I think Brett, you know, who missed on his first shot in there was able to find Sam in that little seam and uh, obviously got rewarded. You know, game one and game two, it looked like you guys had opportunities. Pucks that could have went in the back of the net. They were just there. I mean, everything was so close. That's got to give the guys a little bit of confidence knowing that, hey, the season or the series is split right now, but they had opportunities to, to score more goals. Yeah, I, I think it's been both very evenly played games. I, I think watching the film back now, you get a, a true feel on what the scoring chances really were like. And, you know, uh, Miska came up with a couple of phenomenal saves last night where we had a chance to kind of take that next step and move forward away. But at the same time, Huska had to make some key saves, uh, you know, for us. So, you know, we knew this game was going to come down to, uh, you know, very balanced te teams and great goaltending, and that's what we've seen so far. Now looking back at the two games at the Rush Center on Sunday and Monday, are there any small tweaks or adjustments that you guys are going to look at this week looking at, uh, towards the weekend? Yeah, I think there were some of our habits that they took away from us, and uh, you know we're normally a better transition team than we saw, so we'll try to find some ways to spend a little bit more time with that puck in transition and be a little bit of a faster team, but nothing's going to come easy against them. They're well coached and very talented, and you know we just want to make sure that we're, we're ready to play our top game against them. One thing I noticed too, they're very aggressive on the penalty kill. How do you kind of combat that with a power play? Well, I think a lot of it is just puck movement. Uh, one thing we struggled with, especially on Monday night, was our face-offs. We weren't winning our face-offs, which, you know, no, most of the time that'll lead to great possession time in the offensive zone for the power play. So, you know, we'll want to be locked in on that, get some of those face-offs, and, uh, you know, and just try to make sure our skill has opportunities to make plays. So looking at this weekend, even though a tough loss on Monday night here at the Rush Center in overtime, there's a lot of hockey to be played left in this series. What is your message this week to the guys? I don't think our message is much different than a week ago where we lost a Friday night game in, in Lincoln and we wanted to make sure we responded well on Saturday. And and that hasn't changed all season. We like to you know come off a loss and make sure we put a good performance together. And you know that was a great game Monday night. It was uh, back and forth action. And, you know and they they end up getting that key goal late in overtime. But I think it could have gone either way. And we just want to you know stay focused on making sure that we're playing good gambler hockey. Well, we appreciate your time and good luck this weekend. All right, appreciate it.